Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the MetaNerd channel, I am Marcus. In this video, we will be going through the card review so far for Cardfight Vanguard Overdress. I will be going through to each and every card that was reviewed so far up until this point in time for each and every nation. I will put a timestamp in the description or the chapters around the scroll bar of this video so that you can navigate to that specific nation that you are interested. First for Dragon Empire, we have Fire Slash Dragon Inferno Sword. It has only one skill, Continuous Regard Circle. During the battle, this unit attack, this unit plus 2k power. Now, of course, uh, this is just a basic TD starter deck filler, and uh, it's more or less this backup grade 3 for Dragon Empire. This unit is most likely going to be a 15k beater or a 23k column, including a 8k booster. It has a persona right, although it you do not really want to write into this card ever because it's a, it's a vanilla on a vanguard circle you you most definitely want to ride nirvana other than being a 15k beater it doesn't have really that much use and this will, will probably be the first card to be yeeted <laughs> out of the deck list once bt01 comes out next we have dragon empire's very own overtrigger dragon deity king of resurgence drag vida it has one condition and one skill the first condition is you may have only one over trigger in a deck when reveal as a trigger remove that card meaning this card draw a card choose one of your unit and it gets 100 million power until the end of turn if revealed during a drive check activate its additional effect so this is basically the one in a million trigger in the deck it's either you get it or you do not get it so it's pretty much rng at this point if you drive check into this trigger you'll be able to choose one of your vanguard and restand it so overlord lives again <laughs> <laughs> so my take on this card is that it has a consistency issue because of you can only run one over trigger in this deck so the chances of getting this might not happen for every single match and of course the second skill the additional effect may not trigger every single time you get this card as well because the additional effect only activates during drive check and what are the chances that you drive check into this card not really high right and for the turn that you actually drive check into this card you can potentially end your opponent or your opponent's turn because of how defensive this trigger works i mean a hundred million unless you're getting your own over trigger i highly doubt you're able to attain 100 million power outside of drive checking into over trigger and keep in mind this will also power up overdress unit what i mean is that most likely when you drive check this card unless you're not in nirvana then this point does not apply <laughs> If you are in Nirvana and you drive check into Dragvida, you're able to restand Nirvana and attack with Nirvana again, and therefore triggering Nirvana's skill twice. You will let your overdress unit, meaning Nirvana, get an additional 10k power, which is very, very nice. And of course, we have the final card that was revealed, which is the other card for Dragon Empire, Sunburst Evolution. So in order to play this card, you will need to pay a Counter Blast 1, choose one of your units, and it gets power plus 5 until the end of turn. Choose a Virena from your drop zone and return it to your hand now remember in the dragon empire video where i mentioned that you have a consistency issue in getting your virina if it goes to the drop zone this basically help fixes that problem so this card actually increases the consistency in getting virina and it also lets one unit plus five which is also a plus and this makes virina a little disposable what i meant here is that you can actually use virina to guard and then you can get it back using this card so it's basically a cost efficient trade in using your that 5k shield to guard to survive your opponent's turn and then fetch it back using this card which is a-okay this card has a quite a unique synergy with nirvana so the way how this works is that you can actually guard with trickstar and it trickstar will go to the drop zone and with nirvana skill you can actually discard the virina to call back the trickstar and also use this card to basically get back the virina it's very cost efficient in this case overall this is a really really good order card and helps with the consistency issue that the dex has at the moment moving on to dark states we only have this one card which is time fissuring fist colossus a gear chronicle card Hmm. It has one skill, auto. When this unit is placed on rearguard circle, so charge one. Then, if you are in final rush, counter blast one and this unit gets 15k power until the end of turn. Wow. 
<laughs> Anyways, this card does help with your soul. This card is a 28k beater and a 51 column during the final rush, provided that you are boosting this unit with bad Steve. So it's a very big column. Imagine the Dark States user have two of this Colossus on the field during the final rush. How are you going to guard that? Oh. <laughs> of course, like each and every Dark States card, this is quite slow because we have to wait until the fourth turn in order to activate the full effect. Also, interesting thing to point out here is that this unit is a potential imprisoned unit when you're up against Brandsgate. Since this unit is really slow, and if Brandsgate really want to imprison one hand card, you can actually choose to imprison this unit. Since Dark States don't really use a lot of Chrono Blast, you can actually call it back or pay one soul because this helps with the soul anyways. Bind this one and then wait until your final rush turn and get it back. Next, we have Vehement Witch Ramana. Although, Rearguard, when this unit attacks, Chrono Blast 1, this unit gets 5k power until the end of that battle. This card is basically the beater for Kato Sanctuary at the moment. She is a 20k beater or a 35k to 28 k column why i say this because this unit is a great three you're able to boost with rooks rooks by himself will be a 15k booster if you have three great three units on the field so 35k is actually really not bad the cost is a little much by i mean right now the counter blast one to gain 5k <sighs> I mean, if you look at the last card, Dark States, uh, you're, you're paying one Chrono Blast to plus 15k power. Yeah. <laughs> this card actually uh, wants you to have an early aggression if you're going first, because the first turn of Bastion, this unit will be hitting for 20k. And of course, 35k with the uh, grade 2. Be since your opponent will be at grade 2, they are most likely a 10k base. This unit will definitely punish your opponent really, really hard if you're going first. Like, ugh. Disgusting. The second card that Cater Sanctuary have is Knight of Broad Axe Refluk. It has one skill, active, rearguard circle, cost, put this unit into your soul, choose one of your great tree rearguards and it gets 10k power until the end of turn. This card is a soul resources and power generator for your column because I'm actually predicting Cater Sanctuary to call a lot of great trees in your deck and this unit is a very very good superior calling target to call out and therefore powering up your board. It does give you a soul but then at the moment we do not see a lot of soul usage for Cater Sanctuary until we talk about the next card which we will We'll talk about it later. It allows your great tree regards to hit for high numbers. Of course, it's an extra 10k power. Ramana is going to hit for insane power. And also don't forget that Bastion can also restand whatever great tree regards that you give power to. And also do note this unit is also a very good imprisoned target. Since this is a great tree, it doesn't really do much in the early game. Of course, if your Brandsgate opponent do decide to imprison something from your hand, this unit can be a very good target. By sending this card to the prison, you can actually Soul Blast 1 to call it back and then put it this back to Soul to give another unit plus 10. So it's actually a very efficient cost. And finally, Platinum Wolf. Active, Rearguard, cost, Soul Blast 2. And this unit will gain 5k until the end of turn. This card actually makes me really, really sad for Cater Sanctuary. But uh, here, here are my thoughts. This effect is not once per turn, which is okay. But the problem here is that Soul Blast 2 for 5k power. Cater Sanctuary does not really generate a lot of soul. And... Uh, if you're saying Rafluk can give you soul, this is a soul blast too. And how many Rafluks do you get to call? And you only have four and you're not recycling from the drop zone. So yeah, power gain does not really justify the cost, which is kind of sad. Also, do keep in mind, Bastion can restand this card. If you have a lot of soul, you can actually spam using this unit skill to let it have a very beefy power. And uh, Bastion can actually restand this unit, which is kind of good. But then... At the same time, not really, because of the whole cost. Kind of sad for Cater Sanctuary. Rip. Moving on to Stoikia, we have Silver Horn Beast Dogger. I, how ironic. It's a cat, but the name is. Uh dog continuous rearguard if you have four or more other rearguards 
this unit will get power plus five this unit is kind of rear dependent because you will need to have a full board for it to gain power plus five so with one retire then this unit this unit skill is gone <laughs> However, this unit is a 15k base on your opponent's turn. Since it does say continuous, this unit will most likely be your front row attacker instead of your back row. And of course, don't be afraid to put it to the back row since Magnolia's skill can allow this unit to attack from the back row. But then that is very, very optional. The second card that we have for Stoikia is Knight of Friendship Cyrus, which is kind of hilarious because what, I have a friend called Cyrus as well. Active, Rearguard, once per turn, cost, Soul Blast 2. Reveal the top card of your deck. If the reveal card is a unit, call it to the rearguard. If it's not, put it into your hand. Again, the cost does not really justify the return because you use two soul. You call something from the deck or add the order card to the hand. But then at this point, we still do not know what Stoikia's order card does. So I would still say that the cost does not really justify the return because Lattice, the great two do require soul to gain the power boost when attacking from back row with this unit skill it doubled down on the soul issue that this nation currently have yeah because we at this point we see a lot of soul blasting skills but not enough soul charging skills so i don't know and of course this will potentially call the trigger unit let alone the over trigger uh moving on <laughs> Alert Guard Gunner, which is sort of backup grade 3 for Brandsgate. Auto, Rearguard Circle. When this unit attack hits a Vanguard, choose up to two of your opponent's Rearguard and imprison them in your prison. This unit, as I mentioned in the Brandsgate video, I do mention that the potential support for this unit is that they were, they may have an on-hit pressure, which is what this card does. It pressures your opponent into guarding this unit since the more cards that you imprison them into the prison, the more resources your opponent has to waste just to get them back unless of course they have an endless superior calling skills then then of course you can't really do anything but at some point you they will still need to call them back this is also an additional way to actually unlock seraph's snow skill but then it is not consistent because you need to attack hit this also will increase the resource to toll for your opponent since if you do manage to kind of like imprison the board all five rear guards to the prison he will need to pay i think two candle blasts and one soul if they want to call everything back from the prison which is very devastating in my opinion. The last card that we have revealed is the R2-D2 of Cardfight Vanguard Overdress. Autonomic Caution. Continuous Rearguard Circle or Guardian Circle. If one or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned in your prison, this unit gets 2k power and shield plus 5k. I mean, this one pro does provides with the defensive option for Brandsgate. This will be a either a 10k booster or a 10k shield. This one can actually help kind of conceal your action actual shoe value it's kind of nice to see a defensive option for brandscape a controlling nation and that's it for the video do let me know what do you think of the card review so far and what other cards that you expect to see in the future of course like and subscribe if you like my video content and i'll see you on the few